Sorting out some bits on the live today, excuse the mess. Interestingly, I took the serial number off it. It's 1974, this machine, which makes sense because there's quite a lot of metric and imperial mix of fasteners on it. Anyway, it's only got one and a half horsepower motor. And, you know, for most things, that does the job. But it would be nice to have a bit more of a powerful motor to um, just hog a bit more metal off because about one and a half mil depth of cut, it, it really starts to struggle on uh, aluminium. A steel you sort of probably one mil depth for cut max absolute max so uh, I've just found in the shed another motor so I'll take you take you to see it so this is a three horsepower or 2.2 kilowatt Brooks Crompton so that's the uh, same make as what's on there obviously it's a bigger frame um, I think the motor that's on there is like an 80 frame or uh, a hundred short frame something like that Anyway, so this is a 100 D100 LA, and uh, it's uh, three phase, obviously, which is what we want. Probably wants the bearings refreshing. I mean, they spin smooth there, just sound a bit dry. That might even be a better pulley for us to get higher top end speed as well. So um, I'm gonna strip the covers off the lathe, and we'll have a look at what's involved in taking the old motor off and fitting the new one. So this is the uh, Harrison with the yen cover removed. Decades of fucking chips in there, so we get them out to start with. And I'm going to measure the shaft size quickly and see what the shaft on the new motor measures, and also check if the shaft on the new motor is going to be long enough. So that's a 24 mil shaft with an 8 mil key, and we're going to measure. Moved one of the belts from this pulley. I'm going to attempt. To measure the inner bore, which is about 44 mil, and I need 28 mil, so it's possible to bore that sprocket and get away with a bigger motor. It's already got an 8 mil keyway, so we'll just have to put a brooch through and deepen the keyway. Right, so I don't have any other suitable pulleys. The problem being, if I take this pulley off the lathe to bore it out, I don't have a lathe to bore it out with. We could choose the big lathe, but the problem with the big lathe is it's not particularly um, accurate over a distance. Whether that's due to you know problems with the, the adjustment of the carriage or just where, I'm not too sure yet. I haven't really dug into it that much. Um, so. We've got some options. I can either take this off and ask a pal of mine to bore it out for me, or we can just try and do it on the big machine and see what happens. I'm siding towards having my pal bore it out because his lathe is very accurate. And then it's just a simple case swapping the motor and broaching out the keyway a bit deeper. Terrible audio, so a voice over here. We're heating up the pulley with oxy settling torch. Purely could not get that pulley to move with that eight ton puller there. Started out with a three leg puller, um, wasn't moving it at all. Added the heat, tapped it with a copper hammer, you name it, wasn't moving. So the next job is to try and remove that key manually, try to punch from behind, a chisel from the front, getting a pair of grips on it, all sorts. That wasn't budging. So in a minute you'll see I get a slide hammer and weld the slide hammer onto the key and pull the key out that way. Um, just a quick note, this is a Castellina Tectic oxyacetylene torch. I don't think they make them anymore. They're a great little torch because when you finish with them, you can depress a lever and it basically maintains a pilot flame until you're ready to light the torch again. That's a result to the... Uh Welding a bit of studying onto that key. I actually can't believe how much of a fight this pulley is putting up. We've just pulled the key out with a slide hammer. Um, you can see it's very rusty. But we've had this absolutely red hot 
and it's got eight ton on it and it still ain't coming out. We have movement now, but it's only through the combination of putting pressure on with the ram and giving it a tag, putting a bit more pressure on and so right. forth. This has taken me about another 30 minutes since I pulled that key out. Um, it's been a combination of heat, hammering and uh, penetrant oil. Um, more heat than oil, because I don't think the oil's made a massive difference, to be honest with you. So I've just been heating it and hammering it. As you can see, that pulley is not coming off straight for some reason. I've checked the legs on the uh, thing. They're the same length. So it's, I don't know. It just doesn't want to come off straight. So carry on with a hammer. So we have got some damage to the shaft now. I'm removing that bearing. It's not too bad. I think we just polish that up and we'll live with it. I've got to test the motor now and uh, just check that's running nice and true and straight and everything and it actually runs and then we'll look at what bearings it's going to need and uh, go from there. All right, so we're just checking the motor here with the multimeter. So we're going to do a, res a resistance of the windings check and a continuity check to check that nothing's leaking to earth. I haven't got a mega, so can't do an insulation test, but I'm fairly certain this motor's going to be all right if the other two tests are okay. You know, it doesn't look to be in bad condition or have got wet, so we we'll, we we'll just check the windings now. We go C1, C2, oops, 3.5, 3.6, B1, B2, sorry, right, so B1 to B2, 3.5. I'm slipping 3.5. It's a bit. God, if I could actually hold the probe on it. Right, 3.5 there. Last one, A1 to A2. Let's get it on there. 3.6, 3.5. So we're happy that the resistance is good between the windings, put it into continuity. Check that. Yeah, right, so I'm going to check. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. This motor's good to go. I'm going to give it a run now. Here we have a working motor. You know, I'll plant meet them. I would tell you what it's pulling, but I do not. Bearings. Well, it's not a great test bed. The um, the top of a Miller power source, but let's just have a look here. Less than a foul. You can take that. So, bearing swap, good cleanup. It's good to go.